The political race in Punta Gorda is in vigorous progress, as both major parties are busy with door-to-door -door campaigning ahead of the March 7th municipal elections. The composition of the present town council is all red, and the opposing slate, led by former Mayor Carlos Galvez, is seeking to return the People's United Party to office for the next three years. Penny is a battleground unlike any other in terms of its unpredictability. The people have been very receptive, the response has been positive. Um, you know, you've been, people welcome you into their doors, um, you know, and you've been hearing, yes, 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 Mr. Galvez, yes, Carlos, yes, Wobia, uh, we need you back. Um, you know, a lot of things have gone wrong. Um, you have the experience, you've demonstrated a commitment to develop PG, and this is what we want. We want somebody who put the people first. You are mandated to do streets, you are mandated to do highways, you are mandated to do buildings. But listen, you cannot neglect the basic needs of the people. Fulfilling those needs is a responsibility that 25-year-old Ashton McKenzie signed up for three years ago when he first offered himself as a candidate for the United Democratic Party. I have been very active in my community. It feels good when you are able to nurture the needs of your community and watch it transcend from being one level, from being at one level to being on another level. In terms of what we've been doing over the years infrastructurally, we're looking at a municipality that has a lot of needs and the government of Belize in partnership with the town council, we have been working towards meeting the needs of our municipality infrastructurally. Uh, that includes the concreting of streets, uh, the improvement of sporting facilities. Take, for example, the sporting complex, the Union Field, other parks and playgrounds in the municipality, the improvement of the market, uh, so many different things. The ongoing works, says Galvez, is a last-ditch attempt at appeasing voters. He encourages the electorate to take the money and run. What has been happening is that traditionally, the United Democratic Party have the concept of just pouring down this money, pouring down this money on the 99th minute. Um, right now they are doing some grading of streets. Um, and you could see it's only around election time this, this happened. Um, then come election day, of course, it's based on money. So we are telling people, the voters, simply, this money belongs to you. Take the money and vote them out. Joining the UDP slate for the first time is Cindy Bochob. She is the vice principal at the St. Peter Claver School. Her venture into electoral politics is to be able to serve the needs of the Punta Gorda's youth population. I want to see my community um, provide more for our youths. Um, our young people are crying out for help and I, I am, I'm passionate about that because I'm a teacher and I, I know the needs of our young people and I would like, really like to see them um, wanting more and doing more, having more th interesting things to do, learning more and having a community that takes care of their needs. Former two-term mayor Anthony Westby, who rose to power in the town council on a previous PUP slate, is demanding accountability from the next administration, aside from better streets. First of all, I would like to see better street conditions, for one. I would like to see better accountability of our taxpayers, how it's been spent. Personally, I think that our taxpayers who are paying taxes, these money are being abused. Secondly, I would like to see town hall meetings at least every three months, whereby the people can question those in authority as to how their finances is being spent, and if there is any discrepancies, they can bring it up at the town hall meetings at the same time. So why should voters come out on March 7th to cast a ballot in favor of either of the two mass party candidates? we we'll let them tell it. I am offering myself because in the position that I'm currently at, you get to see things from a very unique perspective, and a perspective in which, you know, I am aware of the constraints of the council, what are our challenges, what are our strengths, and what we can definitely capitalize on. In terms of voters giving myself their support to be the mayor and my colleagues forming the next town council, why should they give me the support? One, my opponent has had multiple opportunities to be at the helm in terms of being the leader of our municipality and did not make much of it. You will see that the experience 
the commitment and the dedication I have for this Punta Gorda Tong and the love for the people. I would humbly ask that you vote for the entire team, but be it if the voters decide otherwise, then that's their choice. That their, that's their democratic right. I can't go against the will of the people. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.